Hello everybody. I'm going to do a little video about this car. Some of you may have been wondering, most of you probably not, but here it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> spotty. What can I say about spotty? Well, let me tell you a couple of things. Behind me is my, uh, well, I don't even know what, what, what it is. It's, a, it's my bush basher, I suppose. It's a 2008 Mitsubishi Triton, or in the US they call it an L200, I believe. And it, uh, there it is. It's a six cylinder petrol. Let me tell you a few little things about it, and um, yeah, let's get to know my little four wheel drive. Okay, so I just, I just said it's little, but it's not that little. It's actually, it's, it's not a bad size, except for one thing, and that's the first thing I'm going to point out, and I'm going to start with a negative that tray. This is a GLXR came with this sports tray thing and this sports bar thing and it's got this and and okay you go oh yeah well it has a tray it does but carrying things in it it's only yay tall and only yay long and I can't even fit a bike in there like the, the lid has to be up for me to fit a bike in I have to take wheels off and stuff so so yeah it's um not as utilitarian useful as I thought it would be I do need a canopy but not just yet. Uh, they're very expensive. I think the cheapest I've seen is about twelve hundred dollars for a for a canopy, and that's like a second-hand one. Um, that they're, they're, they're not really on the market a lot. They get snapped up real quick. It needs a canopy. Some of you with a keen eye would have noticed the little stripes on the on the uh, body there. <laughs> it's because I've spray painted it and sanded it back and spray painted it, and there's no rust on it because it has layers and layers of crappy paint. And it also has on this side, my first little trial of some vinyl stickers and that's now, it's, it's, a, it's, it's called a spotty. So, you know, you're not gonna mistake it for any other car on the road if you see this car. <laughs> Good old spotty. Um, just some vinyl stickers. <laughs> They're actually bubbling here and there. You know, yuck. It's got bubbles in it, and I haven't bothered to get them off because I don't, I don't, I don't really like it. Like, I thought it'd be okay, but it's just not, not really what I thought it would be. So I kind of stopped there. I didn't continue the rest of the car. Um, I've got another idea that I might follow through with. We'll see. So, yeah, I mean, some parts of the car are really, really quite awesome. Like, I love the look of this bull bar. Okay, I think you can buy them those on eBay. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link through for you guys. So it, it already came with it. I reckon it looks really awesome. Just gives the car a nice profile. Um, before the bull bay would have had this nice rounded sort of bumper bar thing, but it, it kind of looked very soft. This at least looks like a proper four wheel drive now. It has a hole for a winch, but it does not have a winch just yet. It also has these lovely daytime running lights, which aren't working at the moment. They were working, but for some reason they're not working now. I have to have a look. A couple of close-up for the spots for you. Okay, it has this lovely snorkel. With the word Triton on it. Uh, I'm going to say that's possibly an aftermarket eBay special as well. I have seen them on eBay, so I'll put a link for that as well for you. And of course the wheel arches. Look look great but again just that eBay special right there um, all right so currently it has the wonderful Bridgestone Dweller 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 HT meaning highway tires Got a little bit of grip um, but not a lot <laughs> and um, and look uh, I'll be honest I've been looking at some all-terrain or mud-terrain tires. I would like to get mud terrains on here, but here's the thing. I bought this car to use on the beach mainly. So forward driving, yes, but only for the beach. So I let them down a little bit and it has some surface area to grab the sand, but not too much. It doesn't, you know, the car never really strains when I'm going through the sand. I've been to a couple of little sand excursions. Review mirrors looking good. Nice and Nice and shiny. Okay, the handles. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, they were painted over by the last person. Uh, they had the fake carbon fiber covers on them, 
looked really dodgy they're kind of like flexing on there and not really attached properly so I took them off uh, this is what we've got here now uh, there they are uh, now I will show you what I've done see that's the same just a bit of paint but I'll show you on the other side I did There's this one there a little bit of paint but this is what I ended up doing to the front one here just got some lovely brushed chrome sandpaper effect so yeah I might end up doing all, all four of those like that also has the little uh, what do you call those rain guards window guards I don't know you can tell me what they are roof racks old beautiful roof racks this one is missing an end I don't really care <laughs> I'm gonna have a canopy here I dare say soon and on the bottom you've got some side steps looking good and I actually think it looks really nice uh, it's it's not stock so the <laughs> the rims are 18s uh, let's have a look so where's that where is it I want to tell a furphy I can't see it there it is so 265 60 come on zoom uh, 265 60 r18s nice little rims and they are not stock. I think the stock are 16 or 17. I think 16 is the uh, the proper stock rim that goes on here. And it also had a 2 inch lift. So together with the 18s and a 2 inch lift, it's actually given it a nice, pretty, pretty high stance. Okay, let's have a quick look inside. Here you go. Um, not the cleanest has been, but I, uh, Alex and I just spent a few hours cleaning it, and it looks quite nice now. Uh, but yeah, not 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 perfect. Has this uh, aftermarket eBay head unit here. Pretty neat all round. Can't really complain. It looks quite neat. I don't have any seat covers on there anymore. I just took them out. They're actually quite quite good condition underneath. So let's get the seat covers off. Um, yeah, it's actually. Pretty, pretty neat all round, really. So, uh, yeah, there's a steering wheel cover. See that the stitching on the steering wheel's come off and it has a steering wheel cover. Um, I'm not too bothered by that, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's got a separate selector. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad at all. Okay, pop the bonnet for you. Now, um, <clears throat> yes, so this is in fact a six cylinder petrol. Not many of these around, hey. I reckon, uh, I know Mitsubishi decided to switch to uh, diesel only, I think, in 2010. So there's not many of these around. Uh, and this here is probably the best and the worst part of the car. And that is, number one, it's working. That's the best thing. <laughs> so I haven't really had any issues since it's been fixed. The worst thing is that this thing uses about 16 17 liters of petrol per hundred kilometers oh my god that is just ridiculous and there's a couple of i mean it's not too bad actually up here but down the bottom it's yeah real mucky so a couple of seals are not the best but it's pretty good um it doesn't actually drip any oil which is really awesome and uh yeah so the only thing that i've had to do to this car so far is the coils, the coil packs went. Uh, the mechanic swapped them out for me. And I'm going to point out that when I took this apart, all this intake manifold here has to come off to get to the spark plugs underneath there. So it's a bit of a dodgy design. There's, there's the ones on the left hand side. You can just see this one. And can't get to the back two, but on this side, you've got to get it right out just to get to them. So, yeah, not so good. Changing the spark plugs is a uh, not, not, not an easy operation on this car. There's a bit to do. A few things to unplug and... Mm. Anyway, I mean it's running perfectly fine apart from the fact that, that it's using 16 litres per 100 kilometres. Ah. As I mentioned before, I bought this car to drive on the beach and you might have seen my previous videos. I'll link them below. Um, and it's it's been it's been good. It's been a good little car for that sort of stuff. But uh, riding driving it around as a daily, not so much. It's using a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fuel. Enough about the fuel. <laughs>
anyway, here it is. Um, what do you think? It's got a tow bar too. It's got a tow bar, how awesome. Yeah, I'm very happy with it, except for the fuel issue. But. <laughs> All right, there it is, guys. So, do I recommend that you buy one? No, don't buy these. Definitely look for a diesel. It's going to cost you a little more, but the fuel difference is going to be massive. I think the diesels use about 10 liters. That's 7 liters difference per 100k. That's a lot of money. Anyway, any questions about the car, let me know. It'd be awesome if you subscribed. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. There's going to be more about the Triton coming up. Bye.